Okay, my friends, I'm so excited to start chapter 17 of The Year of the Dog with you. This chapter is called A Real Chinese Person Book. Making a book was a lot harder than saying I would make one. When I told Miss McCurdy that I wanted to make a book with a Chinese American person in it, she was very excited. That's a wonderful idea, she told me. Why don't you write about yourself? You're a Chinese American, and if you write your own experiences, your book is sure to be very unique. Miss McCurdy said over and over again that she wanted us to make books with unique and original ideas. She always tried to make us write stories from our own lives. Write what you know, she kept telling us. But most of us didn't seem to know much because we weren't doing very original ideas. Charlotte wrote a story that sounded a lot like Cinderella, except instead of two stepsisters, there was only one. Becky's story was a lot like the unicorn movie we watched. Melody was doing an original idea though. Her book was about flowers that talk to each other. She got the idea from our science fair project. She said since she learned plants had tastes like people, she'd write a story about them talking like people too. But even with an original idea, I still didn't know what to write about. I knew I wanted it to be about a Chinese person and Miss McCurdy wanted me to write about my life, but I couldn't think of a part of my life to write about. There was just nothing exciting in my life. Maybe that was why there were no real Chinese people in books. We all had boring lives. I watched the rest of the class write their stories. I drew little pictures of dogs reading books. My mind was like an empty paper balloon. Miss McCurdy stopped at my desk. Writer's block, she asked me. What's writer's block, I asked. It's when a writer can't think of what to write about. When you can't think of any words to write, she told me. I nodded my head hard. I definitely was having writer's block. What's the cure for it? I asked. You just have to relax, not try so hard, Miss McCurdy said, and wait. Well, that was disappointing. Isn't there something I could do to make it disappear sooner? I asked her. Don't worry, Miss McCurdy told me. You'll find an idea, it'll come to you. But I worried. Finding a book idea was like finding myself, and I wasn't having much luck with either.